Hi, I'm Kristen Jensen from ProtectYoungMinds.org and today we're going to explain how to use a feature on Apple devices like the iPad and the iPhone called Guided Access. And you can use Guided Access to make the iPad safer for your children to use. So for example, if you wanted to uh, have your child watch a video but not go to other apps or not go to other websites, then you can use Guided Access to block those things off. So my daughter, Lila, is a special ed teacher and she knows all about this and she's going to explain how to use it. So take it away, Lila. Okay, so once I found out about Guided Access, it's one of my favorite features of Apple devices. So first you go to Settings, click on General, then Accessibility, and you're going to scroll down until you find Guided Access. You're going to turn it on and put in a passcode. And put it in again. Okay, so now we're ready to give it a try. You also want to make sure the accessibility shortcut is turned on. So first we're going to pull up an app it's an educational writing, learning how to write letters app that I like to use. So if you just wanted your child to use this app and not get into any of the other things on your Apple device, you triple click and I'm going back out so I can see the menu. So this, you can get to this menu and it gives you several different options. One of my favorite options is the time limit because it helps kids get off the tablet or um, device without a lot of as many tantrums. Um, so you can set a certain amount of time and then it just locks out the device after that time period is over. So, oops, so I just clicked the home button or you can also click end. So we're going to show you another feature. So for example, if you were pulling up YouTube or YouTube Kids or something and you wanted to show, have your, let your kid watch, you know, a certain video maybe. So for example, if you only wanted them to watch a certain video. You can start guided access. It does not let them um, get out of the app. In fact, I had already turned this on earlier. You can turn, um, you can allow them to not be able to touch the screen. So they can't access any of the other things on the screen. So if you just want them to watch a video, you can turn the touch off. So they can touch the screen, but it won't do anything. It won't do anything. So, and then you can click resume or end. We're going to end and show you one more feature. So one other, another option of how to use um, this is if you just want them to go to a particular website. For example, here's a website that has kid videos. So for example, if I just wanted them to go be on this website and not get onto another website, I could um, block out this part of the screen. The search bar. The search bar. Yeah, so they can't go searching and go to other websites. websites. Yeah. So I just draw a box and it blocks out, and I can adjust the shape, that will block out the top of the screen. Um, and as long as you've got your rotation turned off, then it will not. So then I'll just press resume and I can now, none of these buttons will function. Okay. Now get, to get out of the guided access, you triple click just like you got in, put in your passcode and then click end. Okay. What about the hardware buttons? Oh, that's right. So I will show you those. So 
if you don't want the screen to turn off or them to be able to turn it off, the screen off or on, or if you don't want them to be able to turn the volume up super loud, um, or do the motion or keyboard, you can turn those off or on as well. Okay. So, those so it are helps the you have a lot more control over uh, right. your kids what they're doing, doing on your device. Yeah. On your device. Great. Thank you.